Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We're playing at least the first game. Maybe we'll do the whole trilogy. We'll see. We're going to start with Ace Attorney right here. Let's just hop in, do a new game. All right, so this is, this is a Switch port of the trilogy of games starring Phoenix Wright. And obviously, you know, some folks remember Phoenix Wright as a DS series. Uh, let me know how the audio is, by the way. I'm, you know, checking the levels. As always, I'm gonna knock the Elgato down another DB and a half. Let me know if, if that's like drowning me out or anything. Anyway, uh, thanks to Jeebus and Ramen Lover and Sports Pun to come and Parlor Ghost. And I saw Jer in the chat at all. Okay. All right, so everybody's saying the audio's great. That's good, fantastic, you'll love to see it. Okay, so the Phoenix Wright games are a series of basically visual novels. They're a little more a little more interactive, a little more move aroundy than I typically think of when I think of a visual novel, but it still has that same kind of visual style to it. Uh, and they center around a defense attorney named Phoenix Wright, who is, you know, a weird, quirky guy with weird, quirky friends and sidekicks. And it was a series of games released for the DS. The first was Phoenix Wright's Ace Attorney, and then there was Justice for All, and the final one was Trials and Tribulations. Yeah, it's a story-heavy puzzle game, essentially. You have to go around meeting people, interviewing people, collecting clues. You play a defense attorney. You're trying to get your client acquitted, obviously. And because it's a video game, you also have to figure out who actually committed the murder. Because, as we'll see, the trial system in San Francisco, Tokyo, is a little weird. It, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know there are some folks who have never seen this game. I have played and beaten Ace Attorney. I've touched Justice for All and Trials and Tribulations, but not in a very, very, very long time. So it's going to be fun. I've never seen the Switch port at all, so I have no idea how any of this is going to work. But that's enough of a preamble. Let's jump right in. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Episode 1, The First Turnabout. Yes, we will play The First Turnabout. How much was this on Switch? I don't remember. So we've got a bloody statue, a dead lady. Someone's not happy. I can't get caught. Not like this. Uh-huh. The sweaty man has an idea of someone to pin this on. Make it look like he did it. <laughs> I'm not going to be reading all of the dialogue, but I will be reading some. All right, let's give me a little more light if this is going to be so dark. All right, August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. And now I'm too bright because it came up. Hello, Mia. I'm sure I had choices. Okay, so I can check my options, and I have the R button, which I can use to check the court record. Okay. So if I was on the DS version, this this little menu right here, this court record, would back up the, uh, would be at the bottom screen. Uh, the Parlor Ghost, I don't see anything. I, 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 I see, listen, there are two very good reasons for this to be a perfect, this is a very professional, a very perfect, she, she certainly looks perfect. Let's move on. It's because I owe him a favor. I knew the defendant. Oh, no? Maybe? One of the reasons Phoenix became an attorney. She's wearing a shirt. It's just small and low and and, and, and small. <gasps> that, that, that is a lady's top, which I, uh, under some, some, some folks would call that a shirt. <laughs> if 
Phoenix is not. Oh. Oh, Clary. <laughs> Larry, I think it was it, it was the guy from the cutscene with the statue. Ooh. Let's not say that. Flashback. My name is Phoenix Wright. Yeah, my best friend is accused of murdering his girlfriend. Simple as can be. When something smells, it's usually the butts, Jeebus. It's usually the butts. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. He just has terrible luck, that's all. That's why I took the case to clear his name. That's just what we're going to do. Because we're Phoenix Wright, damn it. We've got the the right stuff. We're gonna use all of the puns, all of the all of the legal puns, all of the Phoenix puns, all of the right puns. It's gonna be a lot of puns, actually, when you think about it. Oh, wait a second. You hear that? I think Nude Indigo is about to start his stream. Hmm. Interesting. And yet I can talk. Oh, have I hacked Nude Indigo's stream? Very interesting. Anyway, yes, this is what Nude Indigo uses for his starting soon music. You're going to hear a lot of it, because this is basically the main courtroom theme. Um, you wouldn't know it, because I'm basically a JPEG that blinks, but I'm very nervous. <laughs> yeah, Parlor Ghost has never seen this game, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing how Ghosty takes this one. I think she's gonna like it. That was not a compliment, Mr. Wright. What would, you, what would you have? I mean, it, it saves a syllable, which is an important part of a nickname. And, I mean, what would you have him be? Fee? No. Oh, no. Oh, Phoenix's palms are sweaty. His knees are weak. Is there vomit on his suit already? All right. A few simple questions. This is how I prove I'm a lawyer. Okay. So the name of the defendant is Gary Butts. Again, this is just basic stuff that they do before every murder trial, if it's also your lawyer's first case, ever. This is a murder trial. Yeah. Uh, what is the victim's name? <laughs> ah, so this is the game telling me I can use the court record. They had to go with a profile shot here, didn't they? They just... They had to... You know... We're... We don't, we don't know the victim's name. I'm sorry. I'm so, Look, it's, um... It's, uh... I just forgot. Temporarily. The victim's name is listed in the court record. Aha! So this is the tutorial. You can go in here, and again, you bring this up. So you have profiles. Uh, there's Mia, she's my boss. You know, again, because this is a video game, she's like 10 years younger than you would expect someone in the position of Phoenix Wright's boss to be. 
You know, I wish Mia would wear a shirt, but I will her accept her choice of top if she gets rid of that ass ugly necklace. Oh, Jeebus, don't tell her. Jeebus, do not tell her. Do not do it. Larry Butts is the defendant. He's a likable. I'm liking this. The the whole style of this up. This is a big upgrade from the DS version. Okay, so the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Um, and the prosecutor's name is Larry Payne. And at this point, I'm pointedly ignoring chat. Uh, I need to. I need to remember to. <laughs> I need to remember to check it off, and I'm still not reading chat. Uh, the victor's name is <laughs> Cinderblock. Uh, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. She was hit with a blunt object. You know basic facts about this case. You can be the lawyer now. <laughs> the victim was struck with a blunt object, and the prosecutor wants us to explain what that object was. Let me know if I'm going through the text a little too fast. You know, I'm basically reading it, making sure I understand it, and then moving on. I'm not gonna, again, I, I don't feel comfortable voicing every line, so I'm not gonna be doing that. But uh, the murder weapon was a statue of the, think of the thinker. It was found on the floor. All right, that's in evidence. Mia's barely old enough to finish law school, let alone run the firm, unless A, she made a deal with a demon. Well... Or B, this is a Doogie Howser universe. I mean, it's kind of a Doogie Howser universe because it's a video game. But also, deal with a demon? I don't know if I would say Demon. Anyway. So the evidence is the only ammunition I have in court. You can use the R button to check the court record frequently. I'll get my chance to respond to the prosecution later. Okay. Listen, Jerry, you're gonna have a great time. This is a this is a really great game. I love Ace Attorney. Oh my god, the enemy. Like, the animations are really fun and funny to look at on the DS version, but having the, the big screen version, oh my god, this is great. Yeah, they... <laughs> What's it to you, anyway? He's just a little over the top there. Yeah. You may find that for whatever reason, in this... San Francisco Tokyo universe there is uh, very little subtlety in the people who wind up accused of murder she had just returned from overseas <laughs> lies I don't believe a word of it she was in Paris until the day before she died and that gets added to the court record, so it may come up later. So obviously I'm going to let you enjoy the game, not go crazy on hints. That being said, what trips me up in investigations is not presenting an item to the right person. So if you find yourself stuck for an annoyingly long time, try presenting everything to everyone. That is what I do. That is how I play this game. It's like, uh, hey, you want to see my attorney's badge? Uh, you want to see the murder weapon? You want to see this uh, photo of the defendant? I know you're the defendant, but you want to see a photo of the defendant? 
Uh, the victim was a model, but did not have a large income. She had several... Oh, we're just jumping right in. We're jumping right in. Oh no. There were sugar daddies involved, Larry. She took their money, used it to support her lifestyle. <laughs> Cindy Stone was no angel! Oh no! Oh fuck, what have I done? What have I done? This is like... This needs to... The objection! Yeah, just just roast the dead person. Uh, let, let's not have him answer this question. Larry, shut up! Larry! Larry! Oh, Larry. Jeepus. We're gonna have a few of those, I bet. <laughs> That's another thing you'll find out. And, you know, the, the judge is, um, easily swayed. Went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder. That's bad. I mean, he should answer the question. <laughs> I love the sideline. Tell the truth. Goodness. Hello, Samurai Sam. Lying. Oh no. Oh no. was selling newspapers. Mr. Frank saw it. <laughs> oh, the puns, the puns, the puns. Oh, hey. It's that guy. Newspapers. Okay, so now we go into uh, a neat little, you know, sp this is kind of like the, the battle, if you will. That's bad. You what in fright? Hmm, this seems pretty obvious. He remembers the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. Problem is, your time of death is wrong. These first cases are simple. Hmm. Larry.
At the time of the murder, there was a... Uh, what is your history with the series? I have played and finished Ace Attorney. I have played, and I don't think I finished, uh, Trials and Tribulations and Justice for All. So, there you go. Uh, aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Some cordless phones do not function. That's true. Mine doesn't. A record of the blackout. It was out from noon to 6 p.m. Hmm. It's a little annoying they took the numbering out of the series. I mean, I can understand the des you know, I can understand why they might have taken the numbering out, although it is important for, you know, especially a game that has like trilogies and continuing um Continuing canon and that sort of thing. Alright, cross-examination. Phoenix, Phoenix doesn't know what to do in cross-examination. Phoenix, you're a lawyer, right? He was lying? <gasps> the shock and horror. How do I prove he's not? It's in the evidence! There's bound to be a contradiction in the evidence. Find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then I find the, contra the contradicting evidence and present it, and I go, ha ha, you are lying! Ho 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 ho! Okay. So what's going to happen is they're going to show me the witness's entire testimony just as he read it back, and I can either press him on certain things, or I can present a piece of evidence. So, for instance, this seems a little interesting. You know, he must be in a hurry. He left the door half open. Let's, uh, let's ask him to expand on that. So, you know, sometimes you just get a little cutscene like that where it's like, hmm, that makes, that doesn't make a ton of sense. Why don't you expand upon that? And he just, you know, gives a sentence and you move on. Sometimes pressing a statement is how you unlock further conversation paths. And sometimes later in the game when you can really get in trouble, pressing a witness in the wrong way gets you strikes and you, three strikes you're out. You can, your defendant could get convicted of murder because you annoyed the judge. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, there were times, you know, again, kind of like presenting evidence to people in investigation just willy-nilly. I will press witnesses on nothing just hoping that something comes up. Uh, this time, you know, again, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, woman not moving, dead. Quailed in fright, found myself unable to go inside. I could press him on that, but... I know, I know what, I know how to uh, expose this guy. He remembers the time. The time is wrong. Remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. So let's present something that contradicts that, such as the autopsy report, which lists the time of death between 4 and 5 p.m. Bada boom. Oh, X to present. Objection! And there's the famous word. Objection. <laughs> I love the look of this so far, Sam. Like, this is the first time I'm playing the remake. I didn't realize that this was a remake as opposed to a straight port. This looks fantastic. I love it. Attention! 
This is not trivial. Gee, that's a really good question. Lies beget more lies. Mia looks like she knows something about C. Never mind. Come on. Yeah, we're just going to let him revise his testimony. This is fine. When I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. Probably coming from the television. During a power outage, you say? During a power outage, you say? Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Right, right. And the judge is just going to believe this. Yeah, Phoenix knows what to do. This one's pretty straightforward. You dummy. You absolute dummy. Uh, the three Ace Attorney games were originally for the Game Boy Advance in Japan. Whoa! I did not know that. Having played these games on the DS, I have no idea. I guess they would have functioned the way the Switch port does. Just, you know, you press a button to bring up the court record. Kind of seems like it would suck, actually. All right. Heard the time. There was a. It was probably coming from the television during the power outage. Right, right, right. Yeah. That. That. No. No. No, dummy. Objection! Dummy. No. <laughs> you could say they're harming his credibility. The animations are so good. The sound effects are so good. This game is so good. Must have been the shock of finding the body. Right, right, right. Hear your testimony once more with feeling. I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Because my name is Saw It. There's a table clock in the apartment. Case 5 of the first game is actually brand new to the DS port. I actually recommend you save it for after the third game because it has references to 2 and 3 and also makes something in the... That's going to be very confusing, but we'll get there. Hmm. So this one is not transparently obvious. I'll have to think about it for a moment. Oh yeah, the best thing to do when when you're on on the stand giving testimony in a murder trial, just just make puns about your name, which is itself about a pun about your role in the case. That's fine. There was a table clock in the apartment. Sure was. Killer used it to hit the victim. Let's, let's just press him on that. what I just said. Court puns to come, yeah. Didn't 
here the time I saw it, there was a table clock in the apartment. What do I have to contradict this? Hmm. That's a statue. It doesn't appear to be a clock. with your objections and your evidence. But if the neck tilts, and that's the only way to hear the time, you see where we're going here. Yes. There you go. Ding dong. Seems pretty, uh, based? Based doesn't seem like the right word, but, uh, who knows? Phoenix right, based god. Let's go with that. Oh, these little cuts are so good! Oh. Oh. Yup. <laughs> doesn't make sense. Examine the batteries doesn't really make sense, so sure.
It's 1125. <laughs> Music's so good. Phoenix Wright's so good. Yeah, keep laughing, buddy. The answer is obvious, Sam. I like the next games less. But, you know, it's been a while. How am I going to prove that? It's a good question. Okay, now, if, if this was just, like, an American courtroom, all I would have to do is prove that there is reasonable doubt that Larry Butts killed the lady. And I think we've already done that, but no, no, we have to prove conclusively that not only did Larry not do it, but Frank did. So, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Lawyers are all sly. <laughs> Again, Larry. Yeah, no one would believe you're a defense attorney if you didn't have your badge. Son of a bitch. Oh! Oh, that's right, there's another lawyer. Why was the clock three hours slow? I feel like I'm on Dora the... I feel like I'm watching Dora the Explorer, but Dora's two steps ahead of me. Why would the clock be three hours slow? Did she get it in Paris? Maybe she got it in Paris. There is a piece of evidence. There totally is. Uh. Yeah, fuck it. It's a passport. Take that! It wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. Take that. <laughs> oh. arrested and has been taken away. Yeah. Haha. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I've seen the practice. I know what happens. You just plan B the witness. Hooray! I know every time uh, every time someone is on trial for murder and they get acquitted, the crowd bursts into applause and there's confetti. That happens. <laughs> right? That happens. Posed as a newspaper salesman. How dare he? They really like that pooling blood shot. Writer Kath with the host. Thank you so much, Kath. Good job in there. She's saying it's been a while since someone she was representing didn't get convicted. No, Larry's sad. You did miss the toupee throw. Wait, no! <laughs> Sydney Whitney's gone. Harry. Um, Mia. Mia, the name's his name's Larry. Oh, he's already moving on. Yeah, but Phoenix, I mean. Phoenix, come on. Come on. Why do I have a murder weapon? What? Why are you giving me a... I don't want a murder weapon. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, no. Oh no. D did this game just introduce Chekhov's talking statue of the thinker statue clock? Because I think this game just introduced Chekhov's talking statue of the thinker statue clock. You have to say statue twice. Classic trope. Yeah, Ryder Cath has it. Can I use Better Noah Squadmate to have you bring up the profile of a character? And yes. Until I until I put in a Phoenix Wright specific one. Yes. Aww. Well, she did take the clock. Something that proves. Uh, yeah, I kind of do. Yeah, the clock. It's the clock, Phoenix. Take that! She took it with her. That's true. Dude, that is an impractical clock. heavy. 
it's it's very it, its function is very limited. Like you have to be holding it, and you have to be able to to like move it. This is a bad clock. Why would you make this clock, Larry? Your your name may be Larry Butts, but you make ass clocks, dude. We need something that would be interesting in a murder case. Hey, you know, that might have something to do with it. Hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. That doesn't make sense, but okay. Why would I, a lawyer, recognize the value of evidence? <laughs> we'll drink a toast to innocent butts. I'll have to tell you more about it. <laughs> oh, Sam wants something in a in a silly voice. <clears throat> Come now, fellows, let us drink. We shall drink a toast to innocent butts. It's from Samurai Sam. Thank you very much. Mia is an HR train wreck. <laughs> He's not going to pace. That, that's a problem. Didn't know it then. That clock <laughs> was still going to... Oh my! The game is even... Okay, the game is now... I'm just gonna TV tropes everything, I guess. They're hanging a lampshade on Chekhov's talking Statue of David statue clock. <sighs> be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Well, let's just make it obvious that Mia's gonna get broined in the skull with a talking Statue of David statue clock. But hey. That was episode one. And now we can play episode two. They're gonna be, you know, th that episode one is, you know, a nice, fun little tutorial. Teach you how the game works. Now it's episode two. And if Star Wars has taught us anything, it's that episode two is the worst one. all your fault. Kanto Killem is here. Kanto loves this game. Well, Kanto, we're playing it on Tuesdays now, so I'm glad you're here. Finally getting used to having your own face. Or place, rather. A favor to ask. Ooh. It's a clock. Oh no. How about that? The clock isn't talking right now. Hmm. there are papers in the clock. Because that's a thing you can do with clocks. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Something good, like burgers. 
Burgers are good. We're probably supposed to notice that Mia gets question marks, and even though she believes she's talking to someone named Maya, Maya gets the, well, Mia gets her name, and Maya gets the triple question mark deal. Hmm. Or it could be nothing. I honestly don't remember. Beep. September 5th. Fay and Co. Law Offices. Uh-oh. How could... Oh, yeah, just... Just, just say no, Mia. Don't just give it away. Cogniferous, huh? Game likes big words. Oh no! Oh, hey. Well, thud. I just remember the parlor ghost had to step out and is going to come back and want to recap. Hmm. That's going to be fun. Oh, Phoenix is late. That's strange. I guess she left. <laughs> she said her sister was coming over. What's that smell? Why do you know what blood smells like? Okay, so this is a little bit of the examination procedure, or investigation. You can examine, which... Okay, so yeah, again, on the... Uh, on the DS version, this would all be on the second screen and you would use the little touchpad for it. Can I up the sensitivity on this thing? It's moving very slowly. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh well. Uh, so you can move the magnifying glass around or you can move to another room from where you're in. And this time we'll go to the office. Yep, we already know that it's blood. Oh no. Oh. Oh dear. Yep. Yeah, Mia's quite dead. Mia, Mia's very dead. Hi, Maya. Kanto is excited that Jeebus likes Professor Layton, I think. Uh, the strange girl drop. Okay. Phoenix, call the police. Call an ambulance. Don't put the camera there! Take, check her pulse! Phoenix, check her... Do... Call so uh This case doesn't make any sense. Uh, sure. I guess we're gonna start examining things. Okay, so this, so the magnifying glass is gonna turn yellow over things that like have dialogue or something. What happens if I just examine something like? Oh, and you can even, oh, you can slide your viewpoint back and forth to examine different things. Okay. What if I just examine something where it's no clues here. Okay. Uh, 
But uh, let's examine ourselves a murder weapon. Yeah. How ironic. It's the murder weapon again. Oh, and they get, they put a check mark over things that you've seen, so that's cool. The Gatewater Hotel, because you know, why not? I think later on, Kanto, if I remember correctly, again, you know, Kanto just jumped in, so I'll do it again real quick. I've played and beaten one, and I've played two and three, but those were all years and years ago, so my memory is basically non-existent of them. I'm fairly sure that deeper into the games, they stop telling you at the onset who the killer is. But yeah, for this one, it's, you know, it's that weird pink hair guy. Also, yes, the Gatewater Hotel. Yeah. Okay, so you add the statue to the court record by examining the body but not the statue, or maybe it's just both. Okay. Some glass shards near the body, pieces of the glass light stand, okay. So those get added. A piece of paper. Well, it appears to say Maya, which is a little damning. I will agree. Yes, a word is written in blood. Good job, Phoenix. Okay. So the receipt gets added. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, now that I have thoroughly called the... Now that I have put my fingers... Put my fingerprints on the body, the murder weapon, the area surrounding the body, the, the note written in blood by the victim. Uh, can I examine things in the court record? I believe I can, yes. So I can hop in here. I can... Oh, I can't, like, present or... Like, I'm tapping A now and nothing's happening, but I can look at them. You know, I have my badge. I have the receipt. I have some profiles. I can look at Mia's profile. She's she's 27. It doesn't say that she's dead yet. Yeah, you know, there's my hair follicles, my skin cells. They're just all over the place. Not to mention Mia's sister. Who, who Phoenix doesn't know. Okay, so the game is giving me the check mark on the statue, but not... So if I do this, is this gonna... No, this is just the same thing. Okay. Charge glass. There are the remains of the light stand. Okay. Anything over here? Hey, look, a chair. It's her chair. Okay. Case 5, you can inspect evidence in more detail, which they did for... Okay, they did that for the DS. I remember that case being different, yeah. Sure is an old computer. Let us advance this plot. Hmm. Oh, hey! Pink-haired lady. I wonder if you have any relation to pink-haired dude. It's a little surprising that uh, Phoenix would know that. Did the original check mark what you already investigated? I, the original didn't have fucking anything, Jeebus. The original had the the bottom screen of the DS, and you just tapped stuff. <laughs> so if I go back over to the window, nope. 
These ladies outfits. What? Well, listen, the pink-haired lady isn't in a law office. She's at a fancy hotel across the street. That's fine. And listen, she's she's well, she's a corpse now. Don't insult the dead, or the dead's fashion sense. Okay, is there anything else to do? Like, okay, we've seen the window. Yeah, we know that. All right, let, let, let's go back. So, Parlor Ghost, <laughs> you're still on the phone. <laughs> uh, you can also use the D-pad and the A button to select stuff in DS games, not just the stylus. Okay. Uh, let us go back to the main law office. Oh no, the girl's missing. She probably did, Phoenix. Oh, Kanto wants to know my top three fashion patterns. Ah, uh, you know... I don't know. I mean, if you're, if you're talking about stuff for me, I cut, like, obviously, I like plain, solid colors. They're good. Uh, Argyle's... Argyle's fine. I like a good Argyle. I've worn Argyle before on the channel. And vertical stripes, I guess. You know, nice, slim, vertical stripes. Like pinstripes. Yeah, pinstripes are nice. Solid does not count. Boo. Uh, what do you mean solid does not count? That's cheating. Solids aren't... Pa okay, fine. Solids aren't patterns. Um... I don't know. I like a nice, subtle pattern. I've noticed, looking for a uh, hefty gentleman's clothing, that there are very few nice, subtle, interesting patterns. Because if I'm looking for clothing for myself, like a nice, casual, button-down shirt, it basically comes in two different styles. It comes in a solid color, or the loudest Hawaiian shirt you've ever goddamn seen. There's no, like, subtle pattern that's like, oh, this has little dice on it. And if you look real close, you see that they're dice. But if you look from a distance, it just looks like a neat pattern. So something like that would be nice, I guess. Let us return to the game. Also, hello, Circle Master. I hope you are doing well and enjoying the show. This nameless girl who we've heard... There we go. That's her name. Maya. Faye? Aha! Maybe I should sh <laughs> Okay, so Phoenix's first instinct is to show the traumatized sister who just found Mia's dead body the receipt with her name written in her sister's blood. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's do that. All right. So, you have various things you can do here. You can talk, you can present, you can look around the room. Let's go ahead and present the receipt with your sister's blood on it, because that sounds like a good idea. Let's just, let's just show this to everyone. Listen, I know you're a defense attorney, but you do know how the police work, right? I mean, right? Right? No, don't show her the writing, right? <laughs> Why would she... Oh no, sirens. Yep, that's us. Oh, hey! <laughs> yeah, why don't we just present... Hey, look! It's your sister! She's dead! Oh, God. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> it's a great name for a detective, Phoenix. Shut up. Person saying they saw a murder. Hey, you know, that person is probably... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Just... Canto. Also, how did how did Gumshoe find that? What? Yeah. I mean, that's a possibility. 
He's closed. You're the worst, Gumshoe. You're the fucking worst. Don't like, don't like case the scene. Don't, don't, don't bag up the evidence. Don't, no, just, just, just arrest the first chick with a name. Have to talk to Maya. <laughs> we don't even know if it could be someone else's blood. You're right, Kanto. You're absolutely right. Yeah, they have Maya locked up like a criminal in that she's wearing her same clothes. Like the exact same outfit. Yes, you can actually see the, the guard's face. He looks kind of glum. Oh, hum. Garden a door. It's me, I'm the guard, I'm guarding the door. Fun fact, they pretty much kill me. <laughs> oh, of course I will be your, of course I'll be your lawyer, sure. I don't know, Phoenix. You're the you're the you're the point of view character. I don't see your face. You just got a guy off for murder yesterday. Phoenix is a partner. Holy shit! Ooh, Circle Master's gonna be streaming poker. That sounds like fun. He's a genius. Ooh. Give him three more years. <laughs> wow. Wow, past Mia. Got a guy off of murder yesterday. I mean, you can always piece together motive later. Why don't we talk about uh, possible reasons you would have killed her? to hold a piece of evidence. Okay, so this is just the, com the com so the conversation was not. Actually, it was probably bugged, but you know, Mia was talking to Maya, but also someone else was recording. Do I what? Do I what? Oh, okay. Brilliant. Detective took the cell phone. Welp. Just a reminder, a, a conversation I had with... Okay. Uh, let's talk about Maya, I guess. She's an acolyte. Nothing, no, nothing strange. 
N nothing strange at all about the the, the, the way the phase... Let's, let's just get into it. I just realized the pun in their last name. That they're the fey and they deal with the... Yeah, okay. She's a spirit medium. It qualifies as strange. Uh, let us talk about spirit mediums. Yeah, have you not noticed that they wear the same fucking necklace, Phoenix? Circle Master, you're fucking... What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? It's like she has ESPN or something. That? Oh. Well, that's a shame. It was worth a shot. Go get the better lawyer. <laughs> she wants me to go get the better lawyer. <laughs> ah, ah. Uh, sure. Sure, I'll go get the better lawyer. You... you no one else to turn to. Right here. Right here. Right here. With the, with the hair and, and the tie and the, the badge. I'm right here. Ask Larry Butts how good I am at defending people. Bitch. She can't. No. Trials tomorrow. Yes. Find the other guy, I guess. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. Hmm. It's a nice office. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a, I mean, I don't want to bring work into the into the stream here or anything, but that's what a Oh, that's at least a 36 by 48 framed painting. Nice quality frame. Actual oil painting. You're looking at high three figures at the very least. Probably more. Potentially substantially more. Hey, look books. Bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Nope, they're for display. This guy wants you to know that he reads. He doesn't actually, you know, read. How do books look expensive? Um, hardback, thick binding, fancy print, generally just thick. You know, the more C's in the thick, the more expensive the book, really. Uh, this gold thing looks interesting. Yeah, gold leaf. Elegant ebony case. Solid gold cigarette lighter. It's not the only thing he's got to burn. Yep, everything's expensive. That's, the, yep. Alright, so... Uh, what else is there to do? 
I guess we go back to the detention center. Talk to finish talking to Maya. Better go see. Okay, so there's nothing to do here. Uh, I guess we'll go back to the law offices. Hey, Dick. I was going to ask why they let me into a crime scene, but, you know. No. I'm his lawyer. <laughs> Got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Yep. Dick tree would be right at home in this. Yeah, you're not wrong. He, he, he's a bit of a dick tree. Don't call him Dick. Except for the cop. Uh, was there something I want? Oh, right. I wanted to. Uh to get the phone. <laughs> Let's just be honest with people. Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Wasn't there a conversation between the murder between the victim and the alleged murderer recorded the night of or the night before the murder? Doesn't that count as a suspicious... Yeah, doesn't that... Okay, fine. Ooh, we can check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Haven't called you in a while. Want you to hold the clock. I put some papers in it. Okay. about the victim. I mean, yeah. Single blood forced trauma. Okay. September 5th, 9 p.m. He's very confident. Oh, no. Sure. <laughs> You'd better not. <laughs> No influencing the lo no influencing the witness. Time to influence the witness. Phoenix, she seems difficult to forget. Miss April May. Except her name. Yeah. I mean, Circle Master, if if you start if you start looking at this like an American defense attorney, you're gonna you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> I 
Not to go outside her room, huh? So she's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, dick. You idiot. Let's shit talk the prosecutor. Of course I do. These two have history. <laughs> this is... How is this a thing you say about a prosecutor? He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He convicts people of crimes they may or may not have committed. He's a jerk like that. Yeah, <laughs> the fact that he's the prosecutor means that, uh... Oh. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He just cheats. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go over to the Gatewater Hotel. September 6th, Gatewater Hotel. Oh, April's doing that uh, that TikTok dance with the with the whoop and 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 the whoop. That, that's what all the girls are doing these days, right? I promise I'll never do that again. Said don't say nothing to that lawyer pal. <laughs> oh. It's all so exciting, says April May. Why does she... Phoenix, you're the lawyer who has to cross-examine this one. Dummy. Hey, look, something's sticking out of a desk, out of a drawer. Wonder what this is. There's a screwdriver. Oh. Oh, she came back with crazy eyes. April. I suppose not. You know what? I think sound effects are a little too loud. Let's do better. Game is not subtle. The bad thing. Try it again. No, I'm a lawyer. Hmm. Actually, there's probably something in the garbage. Because that's how video games work. Okay, so there's nothing else to talk about. Um, I don't know. Uh, here's a uh, here's some broken glass. What do you think of this? Chick's got a point. She really cares about them. <laughs> Break all her pots for rupees. Uh, sure. 
What's with the roses? Okay. One of those. Somebody must be staying with her. Uh, I think the only thing left is the screwdriver. Except she's still here. Okay, well... Doesn't appear to be anything to do. So, let's... No. Let's go back to the detention center and show Maya the phone. No. No. Not check. Present. Oh. That's sad. That's also sad. Well. Hey, what's the deal with this? Hmm. Sure. Well, good news, Jeebus. We're playing one. Oh. Uh, no, of course not. I have to believe in... I have to believe in you to believe in myself or something. That's what the dead lady said, right? Is there anything... Oh! All I've been doing is talking about it. Kind of gotten used to it. Phoenix, it's two different statues. Why do they keep cutting back to that shot? Incident. There's a tragic backstory. Hooray! He ruined our mother's life. Oh no. It was an unusual murder. Seems bad. Yeah, I can, yeah. Hmm, someone named White. That's bad, I guess. Uh, hmm. 
don't really have anything to present. We've talked about everything there is to talk about. Let's go check on those law offices. Talk to that Grossberg guy. He's still not here. Ah, there he is. An over-the-top clearing of the throat, you say? <coughs> like that? Hello, Grossberg. Oh. <laughs> Ryder Kath wants a hydrate. That's a good idea. Thank you, Kath. Ugh. Hydration is a good thing. I am a lawyer. All lawyers wear badges, don't you know that? <laughs> sure. Sure, Jeebus, absolutely. Do it. about Maya Fey, who's quite dead, as you know. Why the straight? He's sad that she's dead, Phoenix. How did you know? It's entirely impossible. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, Mia's dead. Maya's the one who may or may not have killed her. Uh, he refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. Listen, buddy. Guy, man, pal, sir, friend. You see, it's just I'm... Stammer. Yes, well, you see, I'm actually a bad person, and, um... Me didn't know that, and, and that's entirely her fault. So. I must refuse. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I've been paid off by the man who murdered her. See, there's a, there's a grand conspiracy that you're about to unravel, boy. Terribly sorry about it. I, I I don't know what this voice is. It's becoming a little uh, foghorn leghornish and also horrible. I'm going to shut up with it. Listen, Phoenix. There's a conspiracy afoot. It's not here. Let's talk about the painting. And even though he just asked me to leave, he's happy to talk about his painting. Not for sale. I'm not buying. <laughs> Here, let me, uh, what do you think about, um, the autopsy report. Right. Right. I'm a lawyer like you. Respect me. Eh, fine. Fuck you. So this guy's not gonna help. Mm. Back to the detention center. Give Maya the bad news. Tell her that I will present her. I did. He's a jerk. Phoenix. 
<laughs> Listen. Listen, Maya, there's just a grand conspiracy against you and your family for some reason. You, there's a lawyer. Do you not see the badge? Do you not? Here, let me present the, how do I present the, I am a lawyer. Present the badge. Wait, no, dummy. Excuse me. Mm. Ooh, flashback. Dark and sordid past. Yeah, we'll fight. We're gonna fight for our right to acquit Maya of murder. When was, you are innocent, right? something in there. All right. Um, I suppose we go there, try again. Even though... Oh, hi there, you. Just a bellboy. Certainly not important. Kind of weird that they gave him a character model, to be honest. Came back quick. <gasps> Mr. White! Dun, dun, dun. Predictable dramatic turn. <laughs> Flashback to the thing that happened three minutes ago because you're a child and this video game is for children. I mean, it's, it's no one would have the, Phoenix. It's a video game. There's only one one name per people. That's how this works. One name per people. There are no coincidences. Anyway, what's in the drawer? Question, Phoenix. This doesn't seem like it's entirely fair for you to have, but... Mm. <laughs> Phoenix! Phoenix! No! Bad. In court. <laughs> to be continued. Dun, dun, dun again. Ah. Uh, like the Tales of Symphonia sequel, Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Flashback five seconds later. Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. All right, let's save.
We're going to overwrite the save data. It's fine. We're okay. Hey, Samurai Sam's online. Excuse me. I just realized that Pargo Ghost has never seen Miles Hedgeworth. I'm very excited for when she gets back and sees everything that's going on with him. Man has a a tremendous neckerchief. Prosecutors are attorneys. Typical murder trial, call the cop. Please describe for us the details of the murder. Ooh, fancy map. That poor murdered pregnancy test. And again, we go into the witness testimony part. So he reads a statement and then we can press him on it. Witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. See, the, window, the window's up high and she's down low. It's, it's confusing. Circle Master. For shame. Need a need a horny on main alert. In the meantime, well, actually, we're probably going to get a lot of use out of this sound. So, cross examine. I mean, Phoenix. The game is telling you to just press everything. Yeah, press everything. I, I like how nobody sees the defendant throw a crumpled up piece of paper at her lawyer who then reads it. It's just nobody notices. It's fine. It's fine. We do this all the time in court. Fine. There were two people there already. Yeah, that's true. Yes. <laughs> you said it. And as for the hard evidence claim, well, never mind. Oh. Well, 
Let's hear it again. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene. True. True. Bad. Reasonable. Wait. No. That is not true. That's not true. Yeah, but it's wrong, dick. Yeah, why didn't you testify, dummy? But, you know, true to life, a cop forgets a very important detail in the middle of a murder trial. At worst, it's like, mm, tsk tsk, shame on you. Do better next time. Anyway, we, should, we shall continue taking your word as gospel. Anyway. No, the, the, the thing is in the last thing. Blood found on the victim. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. That's not true. Because we have an autopsy report that says death was instantaneous. Objection. Objection. Victim wrote the note. She was accusing the defendant, but the autopsy says death is instantaneous. Like, okay, in a real trial, this gets Maya off. This right here proves that someone is trying to frame Maya, which creates reasonable doubt, which gets Maya off. The trial is over. But no. How convenient! Edgeworth is one step ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, very loosely. does in fact have something up his glorious burgundy sleeve. So this is the game just saying, hey, by the way, sometimes things in the court report can change. Have fun with that. Poor innocent girl. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Poor innocent girl. That's what we're going with here. Phoenix. Just because she dresses in a certain... Okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> did, did, did there have to be the... All right, Circle Master, enjoy, enjoy your poker. Good luck, win some money, get some viewers. If you're still going when we wrap it up, we may well be raiding Circle Master in a bit. But for now, let us hear from April, April May. The witness will refrain from wanton winking. Oh, poor April. She's sad. Doesn't give a time of death there, so that's probably fine. Does this give the, uh, no, that just gives the time of the call. The mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. How could you have seen all of that? <laughs> now, hold on. <laughs> he thought it was quite... Firm. Of course, Edgeworth doesn't want you to. So, 9 o'clock at night. Let's press her on this. The flaw has got to be how she could have seen it through the, through the window. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Okay, how did you see this? Nothing like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> About this, right, yeah. Where are you going with this? Oh, okay. Kanto, are you saying April did nothing wrong in the same way everyone tells me that Todd did nothing wrong? Because I feel like April did something wrong.
Yeah, just give her another chance. For... Oh. All right, keep advancing the plot. How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know it's a clock? How do you know it's a clock? Uh-huh. Dodge the first attack, fair enough. Mm-hmm. Kanto, don't tell the witness things. Not that. Not supposed to present the No, that's not enough for an objection. Is it? I'd rather not get a get you know points done. That's <laughs> yeah. Well, that didn't do anything. Hmm. How did you see all of this? Okay, so I have to present something. I might as well present the statue. Objection. Okay, well, the game is on to something. Like, like, she couldn't have known that it's a clock because it had its guts torn out. He was found guilty of murder. I mean, it's pretty, it would be pretty obvious to say I just followed the news coverage. No. No, I will not. Well, once, but you know. have heard it say the time because it had its guts torn out. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, she couldn't have. No, I'm not.
Bingo! The clock is missing its clockwork! Huzzah! It's quite empty. <laughs> I think you had to call her Fat Phoenix. <laughs> That's mean. Uh-oh. No, Kanto. We have, we have a recorded statement from the victim, actually, saying that she already took the guts out. Oh, and if that's Edgeworth's angle, then fuck you, Edgeworth. Nope, 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 nope. Gotcha. Sure can. Make sure that this is the right thing. Mm, should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Had to take the clockwork out at 9.27 a.m. day of the murder. <laughs> it's not my phone and that's immaterial. Oh no! Why does the prosecution not have all the evidence? I mean, Gumshoe getting in trouble for giving us the whole truth is very true to life. All right, Ryder Kath, have a good night. Thank you for hopping in. Take care. We'll see you next time. Should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Aha! Yeah, there you go. That's the... Oh. No. It's not a store. It's not a store. No. The evidence is the clock itself because it was made by Larry Butts. I made that clock. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ooh, good burn, Phoenix. <laughs> Double down on the good burn. Uh-oh. Oh, she's not happy. Oh, oh, her little heart is... Oh, no. Oh, why? Oh, game, why? Oh. Oh. Oh, she's angry now. Oh. 
boobs of anger. <laughs> oh god! Let's just, let's just play the horny alarm again. This is a court of law. Oh, okay. She's calm. <laughs> my opinion is that my client is clearly not guilty. <laughs> Now we're going to get her on the wiretap. Oh, by the way, we obtained this wiretap by committing an illegal, unauthorized search of private property. Just going to admit it in court. It's going to go fine. Wiretap. game is so damn good. Objection! Objection. The clock isn't, it's a clock, right there. You fucking idiot. This thing that I presented 20 seconds ago, you goddamn moron. Yes, we've seen that. We heard her say it. You fucking idiot. It's a clock. Objection! You're all there, the witness is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> All of us ganging up on her. I don't have anything that says she did it. So, we are not going to plan B this witness. Also, omniscient player, I remember the cutscene at the beginning. It was a weird pink-haired guy. Yeah, I can't do it. I know she didn't do it. Let's 
mildly relevant. <laughs> Nonsense, Kanto. Nonsense. Possibly. Like normal coffee, but cold. <laughs> why, is, why is iced coffee so... That, that wasn't what I was trying to establish. She saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. Okay. So, Parlor Ghost, you said you were going to want to recap, right? Is, is, is that right? Good news, you haven't missed much. Bad news, I'm lying. So... <laughs> so... So, Mia's dead... Um, yeah, Mia's dead. She was murdered with the other, uh, you remember, you remember Chekhov's statue of David Thinker statue? <laughs> yeah, Mia's dead. She got murdered with the other statue, the one that Larry gave her. Uh, we know because it was at the start of the chapter that there was this awful pink haired guy who, <laughs> who did the, who did the crime. We haven't seen him yet, actually. Um, we, we know that. But we know that he did it. Uh, Mia's sister, Maya, who is like Mia, except tiny, wears the same necklace. You know, the one that you said was ugly. And I said, ha, 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 ha. And then you said, wait, is a MacGuffin? Well, Maya wears an identical necklace. Turns out Maya and Mia and Maya's mother are all fucking spirit mediums. Again, you haven't missed much. Again, I'm lying. So Maya and Mia and Mia's mother are spirit mediums, and they used to live on a mountain, and Mia came down from the mountain to practice law under this guy named Grossberg. And this guy named Grossberg was supposed to save Maya whenever something bad happened to her. However, he won't do it, and no other lawyer will represent Maya because mumble mumble something something conspiracy afoot. So Phoenix Wright has to represent Maya, even though Maya doesn't want Phoenix to represent her, despite the fact that Phoenix just got Larry butts off of trial two days ago anyway <laughs> so uh yes team as i will thank you to not directly spoil shit but it was funny when parlor ghost said that the necklace was ugly and it turns out to be a fucking mcguffin for the entire goddamn series <sighs> so yeah uh, also, 15 years ago, Mia's mother was embarrassed on a national stage by a guy named White, who was also seeing this awful lady, April, who is just here now and has happened to wiretap the murder. It's, it's, it's all fine. It's all fine. Call the bellboy. How can you possibly say that?
That's an awful train of logic. That's an awful train of logic. If this one witness doesn't prove that this one lady killed the victim, then you must accept that this other lady definitely did. This is awful logic, Edgeworth. And we're gonna go with it, cause it's a video game. And we're gonna win. It's how this game works. It's just how it works. This is how the law works. Don't declare it something a trap in open court, Miles. He certainly does look like a bell. Why did he bring the platter? Why the platter? You could have... You could have put down the platter. Put down the... Put it down. Or at least distribute it, because those cookies look good. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot. Brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. Hmm. Uh-oh. The autopsy doesn't give time of death. Actually, wait, maybe the updated autopsy does. Let me look at the... Nope. Mm. Okay. We received a call after... Yeah, we're just going to press him on some stuff. <laughs> then I saw... Precisely nine o'clock. So very absolutely so. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. Yes, I'm sure he has very many endearing mannerisms. Oh dear. <laughs> Not a French kiss, sir. I mean, if the other option is give up, you might as well keep trying shit.
Well, the check-in doesn't matter. The bed making clearly doesn't matter. It's an expensive iced coffee. Yeah. For two? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yes, yeah, slow five. Dun, 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 dun. That was objectionable. <laughs> I could have chosen anyone and they still would have gotten to that same. Aww. I felt so smart. We just caught Edgeworth tampering with a witness in a manner that should end his career. Not gonna happen. You fool. Or perhaps, Kanto, we're in time. You answered the obvious question with the obvious answer. It's not clear the man that was with her. Or should I say the man who was not with her? has a point. <laughs> so what we've learned is that apparently every other defense attorney in San Francisco, Tokyo, just kind of rolls over and plays dead when Miles Edgeworth pulls his garbagey bullshit. Aha! Court is adjourned for today. Don't make me play the sound effect. Yeah, no, you're still on trial for murder, you see. So yeah, we're gonna end we're gonna end the proceedings in the trial, 
and then send the lawyers off to do the detective work and have them come back tomorrow. This is how it works. Yeah, go down to the detention center and gloat. That makes total sense. It's San Frankio. <laughs> oh, goodness. Full record of April's testimony. Eh, not a bad idea. I'm sure it'll help. Phoenix is smart like that. I gotta get a lighting setup that isn't so dependent on the varying light coming off of the monitor that's, you know, two feet away from my face. But, you know, we're gonna save our progress up to this point. Overwrite the selected save data. I never saw Big Hero 6, Kanto, so I can't help you.